All right, and we're about to wrap up posts here. I just want to talk about two quick things that are on here that you're not going to really visit that much, but you may visit once or twice every now and again. Um, and I just wanted to go ahead and go over them real quick. Uh, the first one is tags, and the second one will be categories. We'll go over that in a second. The tags are basically those one-word keywords that you're going to associate with each of your posts. If you wanted to go ahead and you wanted to just add them right here or be able to edit them here, you're going to go to this tag section. Some themes, but not many, once again, are going to utilize a description of a tag. So maybe if you wanted to use that, you can, but it's not really something that's very big that you needed to do. Um, the category section is something that you might want to visit. Um, the categories basically is pretty self-explanatory. You have a category name and sometimes a description, but once again, check with your theme on that. But the major thing about a category is you can have this thing called a category parent. Basically, you can set up subcategories within your site for your posts. So let's say if we're using the example of Apple again, where you can have maybe, let's say, an Apple category, but then you can have subcategories of each of its products, such as the iPhone, the iPad, the Mac Mini, the Mac Pro, so on and so forth. And then within each of those, let's say that you have your iPhone, you can have maybe the App Store, or maybe uh, iPhone Generation 1, or new features, or gossip, or latest news, rumors. So you can kind of nest them upon each other and have a much more structured uh, setup of your blog. So that pretty much does it for categories. Um, one other thing that's a really useful option inside of categories is if you go to your category section and you can see the different options that are available, you can also see how many posts are in your category. So if you have something that's got a whole lot of posts in it, and then maybe a category that maybe only has one or two, maybe you should take out that category and put it somewhere else. It's obviously not really doing what you want it to do. So this is kind of a nice little overview of exactly where the most of your blog content is basically being directed. So that pretty much does it for posts, and next we are going to move on to links.